Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to Chapters. So today we are going to be playing as the Karim family. Um, currently we're playing as Sammy. I don't know why Scott is here because he was at um, the Adair's house, uh, so that's a little weird. But really quickly, since they're all just standing outside, I did go ahead and change up one of Olivia's outfits to the new... Oh gosh, of course that freaking light pole's in the way to one of the new outfits from Backyard Stuff because I really liked this little romper and the sandals are just freaking adorable because they're lace and it was just perfect and it looks really adorable on her so I went with that. I just want to show you that real quickly and I was super worried that her mom's gonna go into labor but no she's in her second trimester so we're good. We're safe for this part. Um, So we're gonna be focusing a little bit on Sammy and his story. Um, Okay, why is our house being weird? Do we actually have- oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, well that's interesting. Um, yeah, he would have- he would have invited Tyler over because he does want to talk to Tyler. Um, so now we have to go sit through a fun little loading screen even though we're technically at our house, but whatever, that's cool. I need some water while we're waiting on this. It's really weird because when I initially clicked on them, it said at home, and now all of a sudden they're not at home. I don't know, but okay, game. If I sound a little raspy, I apologize. I feel like I sound really weird. And I don't know why. Okay, can you hurry this up? Because this music's kind of making me want to punch the screen. Come on. There we go. Hopefully. Yep, okay. So... Sammy would have- Scott is still here. I don't- I don't think I invited you, but okay, can I like ask him to go home? Well, they don't even technically know each other, so let's uh, give him a friendly intro. <laughs> um, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to... We're just gonna temporarily add in Tyler. That's not the correct string. We're going to quickly just add Tyler into our household, just so I can have control over him as well. Um, I am... Go- where is their freaking mailbox? There it is. I'm just going to quickly cheat their needs, because... Uh, that's fine. Okay. Because I am trying to tell a story here, and, you know, this isn't going to work out too well. What? Where are you going, buddy? You're going to go on the computer. That's cool. So, where is Sammy's room? Oh my gosh. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's right. Freaking lighting. <sighs> I don't want that light in his room. Where is that bright, like, saucer looking light? Yep, that one will have to do. I mean, at least it gives off enough light for me to see. Okay, so let's go into Sammy's bedroom. Um, I really, really love the way his bedroom came out. Let's close that. It's just, it's very him. It's very artsy, and that's kind of what he's all about. So this is his room. I did have him. He's claiming that for me. He's talking to his sister, it looks like. Um, I kind of wanted him to come in here and paint. So let's do, oh, we should do a paint from reference. Hey, Tyler. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come sit. Actually, no, don't come sit. Um, come over here. I want you to come here as well. Aw, he's talking with his sister. That's adorable. Sammy. Oh, no, no, no. Adira, can you please get out of here? Go over there. Come flirty. That's cool. Um, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, they are just not listening right now. Oh, stop that. Stop. <laughs> Do a large paint from reference whenever your sister gets the crap out of here. She's gonna ruin this, isn't she? Ugh. 
Adira, you are killing me right now. Well, we're just gonna go with that. It's cute nonetheless. Yeah, thanks. Now you leave. Thanks, Adira. I appreciate it. So he is a very good painter. Just FYI. FYI, rather. So tell him a gross joke. Because, you know, they're boys. Um, real deep secret. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be learning a little bit more about Mr. Sammy here and why he doesn't feel like he fits in with his family. Why am I having so much le- oh my gosh. Tyler, can you please stop moving around here? You're killing me. Um, he doesn't quite live up to his parents' expectations in a lot of areas, so these two do definitely have that in common. Whereas Boyd's family is very- not Boyd. Brayden's family is very supportive, as is Olivia's family. These two kind of understand where the other is coming from when it comes to their family not quite seeing eye to eye with their life decisions and what they want to do with their lives because they both have this creative outlook on life. Tyler likes to take pictures and Sammy really loves painting and drawing and the arts and it's something he's very 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 good at and he wants to make a living doing it. So and there are other things that come into play that Sammy's family definitely doesn't agree with. So once he gets done with this, we will dive into that a little bit further, but I just really want to see this painting. You want to play a social prank, you little weirdo. You almost done with this? No. A mark for the develop- okay, that's cool. See, she's like thinking about mine. She's probably, um, out of his parents, she's more lenient one. Um, but definitely out of his family, Adira is the one that understands him the best. That's cute. Ugh, friggin' water. It, this has been on the same, like, state forever. Come on, Sammy. Let's show off these art skills. Right now. Paint for five hours. Well, he's painted for two, apparently. What are you up to? Watch Sims of the Dead. <laughs> You're just sitting over here in the little kitty room watching a zombie movie all by yourself. That's what you're doing. I mean, I'm not particularly shocked, but... He's such a good painter. I forget what level I put him at. Seven. Yeah, he's he's very good, so... And obviously he'll get better as time goes on, because he is still a teen, that's why I didn't set it too high, but he's definitely very good. And he has a strong career ahead of him if he chooses to go with this. Yeah, don't do that. Your brother would not like that. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on the wall. It's normal, but that's okay. We're gonna stick it right here. Uh, I'll fix that in build mode later. Um, so I think I'm going to have the boys come out here and just hang out by the pool. Just sit and chat with each other. So you come sit here and you come sit here. Yeah, I know you were like right there. I wish they could like jump into the pool without needing the diving board, you know, just like cannonball in because that's totally realistic and it's really weird that they can't. So the boys are just gonna sit out here and have a nice little chat with each other. So Sammy's going to start confiding into with Tyler more. He usually talks to Olivia about a lot of sensitive subjects. Oh, brother, can you get- no, get out of here. Why is everyone coming out here? No. They are trying to have a private conversation. Go here. No. Go, 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 go dance to something. Go listen to some music. Get out of here. No, get out. Oh, well, he's telling something very dramatic about a dollhouse in a police car. 
clerks. The police were arresting Ken. And there was a killer robot. Clearly, Tyler tells the best stories. Discuss neighborhood changes? What are you guys, like, already 80s sitting in your freaking walkers on the front porch? What the crap are you doing? Um, let's discuss dance techniques. Um, let's, and I guess, do get to know. They already know each other pretty darn freaking well, but whatever. Um, and then we're gonna have a deep conversation where Sammy's going to start confiding in him. Sammy has always kind of known that he's been different. Um, so, I, I don't know, I haven't really tried to hide anything, but Sammy is bisexual. Um, he has a preference towards men, though. So he is telling Tyler all about that and how he feels like his family doesn't accept him for that. And for the most part, they actually don't. They really don't accept that of him, you know? They want him to marry a nice Middle Eastern girl and start a family and carry on the family name, even though obviously his brother is going to be doing that. But for Sammy, he just doesn't want that, you know? That's not in the cards for him. You know, maybe one day he he'll want kids, but obviously he's a oh that's perfect complaining about his parents actually. You know they don't accept me. You're not doing that. Um, so you know Tyler's going to try to reassure him, um, to the best of our ability with you know the options that were given here. So let's do a bright day. And we'll pretend that's him, you know, consoling one of his best friends. And, you know, hey, I accept you. I understand, you know, that doesn't change who you are to me. And it's not like I haven't already known this. But it sucks that your parents just don't get it. That they're not willing to listen to you. Oh, the crap is, there's no one out here. You. No. You are staying in your house. You are going to stay right there. I'm busy right now. If I have to lock this freaking door, I will. Everyone, you're not allowed out here. Just stay in the house. Um, I also want to have Sammy confide a secret in him. Or with him. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, where is it? Oh my gosh, where is the secret thing? Um, you know, let's hug him. He is one of our BFFs, so might as well. <laughs> but I want to do- oh! <laughs> Look at these morons. They're adorable. That is so cute. I love it. Um, so let's reveal a deep secret. So right now, he is actually telling Tyler that he's never had his first kiss, which is absolutely crazy to Tyler. But Sammy's convinced that that's never going to happen for him. Oh, that was cute. And my cat is driving me crazy, so give me one second while I go deal with her, and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, guys, that was very quick, so we are back. Um, so since hearing this news that he's never had his first kiss, which is, again, crazy for Tyler to even think of, I mean, they're like, I'm playing them about 17 years old. I mean, that's just absurd to freaking Tyler right now. He's like, what do you mean, haven't had your first kiss? Like, not with anyone? And Sammy's like, no, not with anyone ever, and I really don't think that's going to happen for me anytime soon. You know, I'm gonna be like 40 and still have never kissed anyone. And, you know, Tyler isn't about that life, you know? He's like, you know what? We're gonna... If that's not fair. You shouldn't have to go through life like that. So, you know what? He's going to be his first kiss. What better first kiss than one of your best friends? Um, so we are going to go ahead and do that. I did cheat in the romance bar. They are not going to be romantically involved. Um, Tyler is straight, but he he's not like one of those guys that's like, oh no, I can't hug another guy, you know? He's not like that. That's not Tyler at all. You know, he cuddles with his best guy friends, you know? They're family. So for Tyler, it's not anything romantic. It's just, you know, I'm gonna kiss my best friend to make sure he doesn't go through life without having his first kiss, and this is such an important moment for everyone in their life, so Tyler decided, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands, and this is what we're gonna do. Papa. 
And Sammy, of course, is incredibly shocked. However, obviously, I need to get rid of that romantic inter that romantic relationship between them, so I'm going to do the ask to just be friends thing. This is just to make sure everything continues to go as planned, because there is plans for Mr. Tyler here in the long term. Oh my gosh, what is my camera doing? As Tyler decides, hey, now I'm going to chat your ear off. And of course, Tyler understands. It's like, oh, duh. I mean, we are BFFs. Hmm. There we go. That fixed it. What do you, you're gonna go dance? How did you get inside? I locked that door. Are these? These are legit two doors, aren't they? Well, he's gonna go awkwardly dance with his mom. So that's weird. Um. So, you know, Sammy's feeling better. He's, you know, he's growing to accept himself. It, it's a long process, especially when he feels like he's in... I don't know, like he's on the outside with his own family, and no kid should have to feel like that. What? You're gonna go hug your dad. You don't even get along with your dad. Where is he? Don't worry, I'll put you back home. You'll be going back, I promise. You're not gonna be here forever. You don't even like your dad, Tyler. You don't get along. But, okay. If you wanna just stand outside awkwardly, that's cool too. Let's go back to Sammy. Focus on him. So again, he, he's feeling better. He's... it's gonna be a long learning process for him to be able to even accept himself, let alone have his family all accept him. So, you know, he's going to go try to talk to his mom right now. You know, he just wants a little reassurance. Out of everyone, though, it's his sister who understands him and who will always protect him and, you know, be there for him. So he's going to tell her what just happened. He's going to share a little secret with her. What are you doing? You are dancing again. You are just a little dancing fool, aren't you, Tyler? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Can you freaking share your seat? I know I clicked on that, mister. Share a secret. Stop it with the freaking water. I hate the water right now. <laughs> Dancing level 3. Go Tyler. Buy a dishwasher. Okay, that's a weird thing for a teenager to want. Are you gonna work- Look at his little outfit. He's wearing like little a little donut thing. I forgot I put him in this. Do you even have like a fitness skill? A very slight one. <laughs> he looks so silly. I love it. I love it so much. I'm gonna have him go and box, you know? Get out some aggression. What do you mean you can't box? Is there not enough room? Stop talking her. That's weird. Okay, what about now? I don't see why it would be an issue, but can you go try it for me now? I don't know why that's smashed, but there are no children in here, so we're just gonna get rid of all this. I'll freaking put it over here. Now can you use it, or are you going to continue to be a brat? Go box. Get out some of your pent-up aggression with your family. There we go. How are you doing, my dear? You are so pretty. I love you. So go dance to this. How pretty she is. I'm like so proud of myself for making this girl. I think she is absolutely beautiful and that is my freaking timer. I think she's pretty. She is rocking this outfit. Let's um... What am I even listening to? This is in a pop. So here we have 
Mr. Sammy. Failing at boxing, but boxing nonetheless. You know, trying to make himself feel a little bit better. You know, they, they are in their teen years. They're getting into working out, you know. I feel like working out really becomes a thing when you become a young adult, you know, when you're in your 20s. At least that's what I've noticed. Is this thing a rap? It sounds like rap. Play in a puddle. Somehow that doesn't shock me. Why don't you go take a shower, Smelly? She is so good at dancing. Uh -huh. Go, Adira. And I am going to definitely be playing with these families pretty regularly. Obviously, again, Olivia is my main girl. She's the one we're mainly going to be playing with, but the rest of them are going to get some love too and get their own lives going, you know? Um, so how about you get out of the shower so you don't walk in on him? Come out here. And we're gonna see them grow up and, I mean, they're all gonna have their own families. Are you gonna go take a shower for me or are you just gonna be a butthead? Go take a freaking shower. No, don't go hug your brother while he's about to go take a shower. <laughs> That's awkward. Aww. <laughs> He should be just about clean pretty darn soon. He wasn't- his hygiene wasn't down. He is gonna go watch more TV. Because when in doubt, that's what Tyler does. More TV time. So we're gonna go back into Monsieur Sammy's room. And have him do another painting. Let's do a flirty painting. This is his main source of tranquility and, you know, how he expresses himself is through painting. He loves art and everything that comes with it is just so beautiful to him and that's how he sees the world, which I think is incredible because if you can see the world through swirls of color and paintings and all of that, I think it's absolutely incredible. It's such an awesome gift. I see the word the world through writing and telling stories. We know we all have our sources of creativity that we express ourselves, which I think is really important to having a happy life is to be able to express yourself creativity creatively. You cannot talk. Yeah, that's it. Te check your freaking phone while you're painting. You're supposed to be having a peaceful moment here, Sammy. Come on. You're almost done. We're almost there. Is that a llama and freezer bunny? Oh my gosh, they have school. <laughs> I forgot about that. For some reason I thought it was still like 11 o'clock at night. So I think I am going to end this part right here on Mr. Sammy's lovely painting of love at sunset. And I hope you enjoyed this part and learning a bit more about Sammy and his family. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Chapters. Bye!